The first currency pair on my watch list is the British pound sterling paired against the USD. End of last week, 7th of July 2023, resulted in GBP USD closing above the previous week's Doji bar after the bearish retest of the broken major resistance at 1.26813 in an uptrend rally. As you can see, the bull wave from the low of September 26th, year 2022, is still active to the higher low at 29th of May, year 2023. Therefore, I still support a bullish sentiment on British pound sterling paired against the USD this week. My bullish sentiment would be terminated if the bear can ensure a strong bearish close below the previous doges bar after the bearish retest of the broken major resistance at 1.26813. Position disclosure. Currently, I have an active buy trailing position in profit on British pound sterling ULZ and I will be looking forward to scale up trades if I can see a decent bearish pullback in the market this week. This could be the eye of this doji candlestick right here at 1.27550. Next is USD paired against the Canadian dollars. As you can see, the end of last week Friday bar weekly close, which is on the 7th of July 2023, resulted in a bullish spike. You can see the weekly bar. But the weekly candlestick close went lower than the bar range. This does signal volatility in this currency pairs last week. Although the minor key level support at 1.32 297 right here is still acting as a concrete floor for the bulls. This currency pair is at a critical state for buyers and buyers need to be very careful right here. A bearish close below the minor key level support at 1.32297 this week would suggest weakness in bullish setup which was being aided by the bullish outside bar right here that was the previous week position disclosure currently i have an active buy trailing position in profit on ulz canadian dollar based on the previous week's bullish outside buy at support right here i am not interested in adding to my buy position not until i can find a strong technical reason to scale up my position in the market this week Next on our list is the USD ZAR, USD paired against the South African Rand. End of last week, candlestick, which ended on Friday, 7th of July 2023, resulted in another spiny top bar on the USD South African Rand. I have been trading the railway weekly setup on this currency pair right from the test of its benchmark since the 28th of June 2023. Let me show you the chart view on the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, the shaded green boxes are where I made buy entries on this currency pair. The first on the 8th of June 2023 was a profitable trade, and the second on the 3rd of July 2023 was a losing trade, and the third on the 5th of July 2023 was a winning trade. Position disclosure. Based on the price actions on the higher time frame, I am reluctant to buy the test of the support of this rising channel this week. On the weekly time frame, based on the double formation of spanning tops right here, this is why I am reluctant to buy on the lower time frame. Here comes a trend line from the 11th of April 2022 till 19th of June 2023. A bearish retest of this rising trend line within a short period of time is an idea of cross iron of price, which could suggest potential weakness in this rising trend line. Due to the 
double formation of spiny tops at the top swing here this could interest more sellers to set in and they break this rising dynamics support trend line and this could result in a massive fall for the ulz south african rand to the next potential support at 17.70241 alternatively a bullish flow of price still needs to clear off the multi-year resistance at 19.3396 which was on the 6th of april year 2020 take note the previous peak at almost $20 could still result in a double tops which could still influence the bearish aggressive rally to break the rising trend line support of this bullish trend. The next currency pairs on our watch list is the New Zealand paired against the Canadian dollars. End of last week on the 7th of July 2023 resulted in another bullish test of the major key level acting as a potential resistance at 0 0.82630 on the New Zealand Canadian dollars. The frequent test of the potential resistance at 0 0.82630 within a short range of period signals a potential weak resistance structure at this level. A strong bullish close above the 0 0.82630 major key level acting as a potential resistance structure would suggest a bullish interest to test the upper resistance trend line of the bullish flag in this market. And if that should occur, it would suggest a bearish trap breakout for this falling channel. This is one of the reasons I am careful of trading patterns that are against the normal technical breakout direction. Position disclosure. Based on the price actions on the higher time frame, I have these currency pairs on the list of my watch list this week to see how price would react to this level on the lower time frame. Last currency pairs on the list of my forex watch list is the Canadian dollar paired against the Swiss. End of last week, which was on the 7th of July 2023, resulted in a massive bearish move on Canadian dollar switch. I have been selling from the 5th of July 2023, after the pullback of the previous week at the major key level resistance at 0 0.68020. This week, I will patiently wait for a bearish pullback into last week's bearish bar before adding to my sell position. Sell target is at the major support of 0 0.66072. Alternatively, a weekly bullish close above 0 0.6724 would suggest a bullish interest to test the major resistance at the major key level resistance of 0 0.68020. Position disclosure. I currently have a sell trade position in profit based on the price actions on the higher time frame. I still support more bearish movement on Canadian dollar paired against the switch currency pairs and it is on the list of my odd watch list this week interested to see my intraday market decisions in the forest market this week visit the link to learn and trade along with me in the description of this video interested to see my weekly analysis in the commodities market gold silver platinum sugar check the link in the description of this video found this video helpful don't forget to like share subscribe for more and turn on the notification icon feel free to comment your views or any asset you want me to analyze in the financial markets this week i wish you all a profitable trading week